Hi guys, it's Adriana and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super amazing video for you guys that I'm so excited to make and I've been waiting so long to make it. Literally, I've been waiting for this palette to come in the mail so that I could finally do this look justice. What's today's special look you're probably wondering? Um, I'm sure you've probably heard of the Wings Club. If you haven't, you need to hop on the Wings. The Wings Club was slash is one of my favorite shows growing up. For a children's show, the Wings Club served pretty good looks. They constantly had the half tops, the cool skirts, all of it. The Wings had it all, the pretty hairstyles, the makeup, everything. The whole thing was a look. And what did Netflix do for the live action? With all the potential in the world, all the resources in the world to literally give us fans what we've been waiting for, they flopped. They flopped. I'm gonna show you guys what the live action of Winx looks like. Yeah, there should be a picture coming down right there, but we won't get into that. Maybe I'll make a video about what I think about that. But I'll save that for another day because I know what you guys came here for isn't to hear my opinion on how bad Netflix botched Winx, but to learn how I achieved this Winx Club fairy, whimsical inspired look inspired by the fashionista of Winx herself, Stella, Princess of Solaria. Hey guys, all right, let's get started. All right guys, so I'm just going in with some Alaya Beauty Concealer and I'm using this to give my eyes a nice foundation so that my eyeshadow really pops. And I'm setting that with some translucent powder. Next, I'm just going in with some e.l.f. Wow Brows Brow Gel just to set my brows in place. And I'm going to be using my Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics, and I'll be using the lightest yellow shade. Unfortunately, this palette doesn't have the colors, so I can't give you the exact names, so I'm just kind of going to describe them. Now I'm going in with the shade under the yellow shade, two shades under. And I'm just really building, um, starting from the lightest yellow and then going to the darkest yellow to orange with this look. Just going in with that slightly darker, more orange tone yellow. And I found that with this palette, the best thing to do is to pack on the color first and then blend it out. And now I'm going in with the light orange. And as you can see, I'm taking um, a dense shader brush to pack on that orange pigment. And then I'll be going in with a fluffy brush to blend it all out. And now I'm going in with the reddish orange color and I'll be putting that on the very bottom of my crease and a little bit on my outer V as well. This really defines the whole look and gives it the depth that we're looking for. And I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'll be using some Garnier Micellar Water to cut my crease, and I will be doing a half cut crease for this look. I feel like this method gives me the most defined um, cut crease or wing whenever I'm doing, just because it's much cleaner if you're taking product away as opposed to putting more product on, like concealer. So if you want, you can cut your crease with concealer. Either or, it doesn't matter. This is just my preference.
And now I'm going to go in my, with my BH Cosmetics Nice Palette. And this was their special edition holiday palette that came out this year. I'll be using the color Slay. And it's a, um, I describe it as like a burnt tangerine orange. It has a beautiful pigment to it. And it has a really pretty pearl sheen to it as well. I thought it really tied the whole look together. To make this more pigmented, I do suggest that once you have the pigment on your brush, you spray it with some setting spray or mix it um, with some solution to make it more like a liquid eyeshadow. And just going in with that dark orange again just to deepen the outer V. And now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliner, and this is in the color Electric Blue. And I put a little pop of blue because Stella always wears like a pretty blue or purple accessory. So I felt like it really just tied really nice together with the green. Alright, now it's time for the crystals. So to really hold these crystals in place, I'm going to put some duo eyelash glue where I want the crystals to go. And I don't just do this to give the crystals extra hold. I also do this to mark my place because the glue will dry clear if you have clear glue, which I do. So um, yeah, it just helps me make sure that it's all in alignment. I like to have everything in perfect like symmetry, you know what I mean? I think that's one thing that's nice about makeup is that you can correct symmetry on your face if you don't have natural correct symmetry. And I did get these crystals from Amazon. Um, I literally just typed in rhinestones for the face and selected the ones with the highest ratings. I'll put all of my products in the description box below. And now I'm just setting the base for my eyelashes. And I like to do this because um, I do use the clear glue. So if there's any gaps, they will be noticeable if I don't do this. It just gives like an extra little, um, some leeway for your eyelashes. It fills the gaps. And on top of the band, I'm going to be using some Man Eater Liquid Eyeliner by Tarte. And again, this all just polishes the look. And this is the Alaya Beauty Limitless mascara which is one of their best sellers it's so good right now I'm just using it to really blend my natural lashes with the falsies and I'm going in with the lightest shade again I'll put the names in the description box and that is it guys we are all done with this Stella Wings Club inspired look All right, guys, and that's it. Not too hard, right? I hope not. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.